Many California ski areas have not been so lucky with the snow this year, but there is one notable exception. Meteorologist Rob Carlmark joins us live tonight from Mammoth with more. And Rob, not only snow, but also I can see your breath a little chilly out there as well, huh? Oh, you know, that's part of the job, Tony. You get out in the elements. You know, we experience the weather firsthand. It is, as you can see, a little bit cold. <laughs> Pretty rough here for a lot of California resorts. I was just in Big Bear, only a foot of base. It was still fun, but only a foot. Now, I, I want to take your attention over here to one of the snow banks in Mammoth. It's about 10 feet or so. Tons of snow everywhere. We just got a couple feet uh, with this last storm. Tons of powder. It's just been epic, epic conditions. One storm, remember the, uh, the New Year's Eve storm? We got about five inches of rain in San Luis Obispo. Well, here they got eight feet in 36 hours. Just incredible. So here with Mammoth Mountain, California, representing them is Dana Vanderhauen. Dana, how is this year looking for snowfall? You know, we had a little bit of a slow start, um, but that is certainly over now. We have had uh, nearly three inch 300 inches of snow so far this season. Uh, we have a 12 to 14 foot base right now, which is actually the deepest base in the entire country. So we're doing great. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Now, let me ask you another question. When I was a kid, I used to come up here every spring, and Mammoth was kind of an interesting thing because it was a lot of strip malls in a world-class location. Mm -hmm. It's kind of different now. What are we looking at here? And tell me about all the improvements. Well, what we're looking at right here is the village at Mammoth. This has been here for three seasons. Um, and actually, we have the village gondola right behind us here uh, that actually connects people from town up to Canyon Lodge. So it's a great way to access the mountain. It's just kind of giving the, the town a little bit more of a heart and a center. There's great nightlife. We always will know that our biggest asset here is the mountain, but it's great to have these shops and restaurants and things here as well. All right, well, thank you so much. We're having a great time. I'm here at Operation Sierra Storm, so we're meeting with a lot of meteorologists. We're going to a lot of conferences, a lot of talks. So coming up at 6, we're going to talk a little bit about global warming. We've had a great day today, and I'm going to get back inside and put on my gloves for the next live shot. Back to you in the studio in sunny and warm San Luis Obispo. <laughs> uh, well, Rob, I understand that uh, it's been a little, little chilly there, and you've gone to a lot of conferences, but have you had a chance to ski at all? Um, I was able to squeeze in a few runs. Just, uh, yes, uh, I kind of thought so. Yeah, two feet of powder in the trees. <laughs> Just wonderful. But I am working, as, as oh, you can yes, see right here. I am course. working. Yes, you are. All right. Yes. Thank you, Rob. And Rob will have more at 6 p.m. on tonight's key speech from Operation Sierra Storm on global warming.